In this video, I will show you the best NVIDIA control panel settings for Adobe Lightroom. So let's get started. All right, fellas. So before diving into the best NVIDIA control panel settings for Adobe Lightroom, we need to download and install the NVIDIA GeForce experience because we need to apply the display drivers to optimize the Adobe Lightroom for the best performance. You can find the link in the description. And once you have successfully downloaded and installed NVIDIA GeForce Experience, you need to go to the search and you need to type NVIDIA. Once you do this, you will see two options here. The number one is the NVIDIA GeForce Experience and the number two is NVIDIA Control Panel. First of all, we need to dive straight into the NVIDIA GeForce Experience. Once you are right inside the NVIDIA GeForce Experience, you will see two options here home and the driver in the top left corner of the NVIDIA GeForce Experience. First of all, we need to dive straight into the drivers and once you're right inside, you need to find these three vertical dots. If you click on this, you will see two options here for the driver preference. The number one is the game ready driver and the number two is the studio driver. So we are going to select the studio driver because it is optimized for the creative apps which includes all the applications of the Adobe and uh, if you are unable to see the studio driver it means that your GPU does not support the NVIDIA studio driver you might be able to see only the game ready driver if you are able to see the only game ready driver you can select this option and that would work fine too but if you can see the studio driver I would recommend you to select the studio driver and once you are done you need to check for updates and uh, make sure the NVIDIA studio driver is the latest version if you click on check for updates it will show your message that you have the latest nvidia studio driver and once you're done you need to go back to the home and you need to click on the adobe lightroom classics and as you can see the nvidia geforce experience has already optimized the adobe lightroom classic and it has applied all of these uh, settings automatically as you can see this is using the optimal settings now once you're done with the nvidia geforce experience settings you need to go back again to search and type nvidia and now you need to uh, click on nvidia control panel oh lord fellas so once you're right inside the nvidia control panel you need to click on adjust image settings and preview and once you're right inside, you need to click on the use the advanced 3D image settings. And once you are done, you need to click on configure surround physics and uh, you need to make sure the physics settings, the processor is selected as your GPU, not your CPU or auto selected. You need to uh, select your GPU. In this case, I have NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660 Ti. So I will select this and it will be automatically saved. And once you are done with these settings, you need to go to the main settings which is the manage 3d settings and once you're right inside the manage 3d settings you need to click on program settings because we are not going to apply the global settings uh, it will be applied to any application that the nvidia controls or gpu is being used uh, we need to apply to a specific program which is the adobe lightroom and for that i will select program settings and in the drop down i will select adobe lightroom here it is it is adobe photoshop lightroom and if you are unable to uh, find your Adobe Lightroom, you can simply uh, click on add and uh, you can find your desired program or Adobe Lightroom from this list. But if you are still unable to locate your program, you can click on browse. And once you click on browse, it will ask you for the directory where your Adobe Lightroom is located. I will tell you the default location of the uh, Adobe applications. You need to go to the this PC, local disk C. Then you need to find program files, Adobe, and here you will see all the Adobe applications installed on your computer. I need to find Adobe Lightroom Classic. There it is. I need to click on this. And once you click on this, this is the application.exe file. If I double click on this, it will be automatically applied to this program settings. So this is how you can specify the program if you are unable to see the program in the list of select a program to customize. And once you have selected your desired program which is Adobe Photoshop Lightroom to add the manage 3D settings for GPU customization, you will see a plenty of options here and you need to make sure watch carefully because we are going to apply the best settings for Adobe Lightroom. Alright, so first of all is the filtering. You need to make sure it is a 16x if you want the highest quality possible to improve the image quality. But if you have a normal type of GPU like uh, mid-range GPU, 
if you don't have a very high-end gpu you can go with the 4x that is in between 16 and off or you can also go with control application control but i recommend to use the maximum it will improve the image quality but it may decrease the performance so you can adjust any anything you want but i recommend to use 16x and for fx AA, it will also imp improve the image quality uh, by enhancing the quality of anti-aliasing of the photos so for that you need to click on this on button and for gamma correction it is used to improve the quality and the color of the 3d images you need to make sure it is also turned on and for the anti-aliasing mode you can select the enhance the application settings and that would be better and for the settings of this mode you can select 8x at its maximum to improve the image quality and for the transparency you can select super sample because it will do the multi sampling for the best quality of your images in the Adobe Lightroom you need to select 8x and for the background application maximum frame rates you can select this use global settings which is turned off by default because we are not going to edit video or something like this there there is no motion graphics but you can turn it on and keep it is maximum that's perfectly fine and this is the very important setting which is the CUDA GPUs if you click on this you don't need to use the global settings you need to use the these GPUs and you need to click on your uh, graphics card which is in my case 6060 Ti so you need to click on ok and for the low latency mode you can select it as on and uh, it is used for games to maximize the refresh rate of the monitors but you can select it as on that would keep the images very sharp and better and you can skip these two options because it is related to the gaming or for the frame rates of your monitor and you need to go to multi frame sample AMFAA you need to click on this as on and for the OpenGL rendering GPU it is used for the AMD graphics cards you can select your graphics card here in my case I can see my graphics card so I will select this and for the power management mode you need to make sure prefer the maximum performance is selected do not go with optimal power if you want the best quality you can select the prefer maximum performance and for the refresh rate it is uh, available for your monitors if you have a very high refresh rate gaming monitors you can select for the highest available and if you are unable to do so you can select any option here you want texture filtering you can select it as on because it will uh, go for the higher performance with the minimum loss in the image quality and you can also select this as on and uh, for the texture filtering for negative LOD bias you can use it as a lower clamp but I will suggest you to select the clamp because it will enable your Adobe Lightroom to render the better image quality and for the quality you can also keep it as a high performance if you don't want the quality but if you want the quality of the images very sharp and very high you can go for the high quality and for the trilinear optimization you can also click this as on because it will also improve the quality of your image and for the thread optimization you can select it as on because it is going to use the visualization of the CPUs and the GPU to maximize the quality of your uh, images in the Adobe Lightroom. For the triple buffering you can also go with as on. This will also do the same and these two options are for the virtual reality and the for vertical sync and it is also used in mostly in games. If you are playing a very high end racing games you can select vertical sync as on because it will not cause any tearing or textures failure in your games and once you are done don't forget to click on this apply button to save your changes and once you are done now you have the Adobe Lightroom completely optimized for editing purposes and now let us uh, dive straight into the Adobe Lightroom alright fellas so once you are right inside the Adobe Lightroom you can go to the edit option in the top left corner of the uh, Lightroom and once you click on this you will see the preferences option here you need to click on this once you click on this now you need to go to the performance and once you go to the performance you can select the use graphics processor and you can uh, uh, select this as custom dot go with the auto because we are going to apply the custom settings and uh, make sure use the GPU for image processing is enabled and also use the GPU for export is also enabled as you can see I have an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1660 Ti 6 GB of uh, GPU and uh, it is, says that full graphics acceleration is enabled so I can use the GPU to render out my high quality images from the Lightroom and that's very handy and once you are done with these settings these settings are very important uh, you need to click on OK 
and now you can start editing your photos and make them impressive uh, using your Lightroom and it will be fully optimized from your GPU. So that's it guys I hope you like this video and it will definitely make your uh, editing experience in Lightroom very very smooth and uh, amazing and uh, thank you so much for watching this video if you have any questions you can comment down below all the links are given in the description you can download and check them out thanks again for watching this video and have a nice day